it goes A to the B to the C to the D Rashawn and Thash one are good company Like Kim and Haji, Rock Kim and Eric B Dr. Dre and D.O.C. We like Parrish and E What is Mark and Cool C The boys and Heavy D DJ Pooh and King T That five and Busy B Forget again in the skip Like Larry and Jack Tripper With a white kid and flipper A little bit hipper than Crockett and Tubbs We're burning dubs the place That my sate to rock late when you're up in the Merry Christmas guys, my name's Chris Dowdy, I'm from Progressive Force Concepts down in the Asia Pacific region, I'm here in the USA doing some uh, training, and I'm here to present you with the new drill for AR15.com, it's called the Question Mark. The Question Mark's a drill that's uh, built to deal with and to focus upon shooting on the move, and the design of the drill allows us to do it from all angles, so we end up going forward and backward, we move sideways in that lateral motion, we also manage to get in angles, so running those obliques. By shifting the distance at which the cones are apart, by uh, altering the distance between targets, the distance between the cones and the targets, we can actually make it easier, we can make it harder, we can turn it into a stress course by adding in uh, sprints, adding in push-ups. Alright, so we set up the cones, each of these cones here is the area which we're going to engage in, and then the distance between the cones we run or walk between. So as you can see here, we're going to move through, come here in a linear angle, engage that target while shooting on the move forwards. We're going to run to the next one. Here we have that oblique angle running um, to the right. Under here we have the oblique angle pushing right again. We hit here, we're going to be shooting on the move in a lateral manner. And when we hit the final one, we end up moving backwards and again engaging on the move. One of the great things is that as we move through here, we actually have to transfer between shoulders to ensure that uh, we can orientate the weapon in the correct manner. And it adds an extra dimension to the training itself. Obviously by expanding the drill, it makes it more physically demanding, you have to run a further distance. But if you compress it, it makes it far more technically demanding, make it more intensive footwork wise and uh, weapon manipulation wise. Guys, give it a try, I'm sure you'll like it. Stay safe and Happy New Year.